Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Huawei D15 laptop. This specific one is an D15, the model is BOH-WAP9R. That information can be found on the bottom of the laptop, on the bottom sticker or on the tattooed laser engraved uh, model right there, you can see it. And in this video I'm going to take you on step by step how you can open it up and how you can replace or remove the battery for this one. It's very easy and it doesn't take, it only takes few minutes. All right, before we go over this one, I'm gonna go over the tool that I'm gonna be using. We're gonna be using a screwdriver set. As always, I'll be using an iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best bits out there. We're gonna be using a Torque number five and we're gonna be using a Phillips number zero. Also, if you wanna get the pro version of this one, which I didn't get, it, uh, it comes with an opening tool, tweezers, and some other wrist uh, anti-static band. But if you don't want to get the pro version, get the simple set and grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening uh, covers, cases, and laptops. All right, with all those on hand, let's go ahead and start removing all the screws on the bottom cover, starting from one corner. All the screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching the screws. Again, if you guys like my videos and if my video is helping you guys out to do your own upgrade and repairs, you can click that like and subscribe to the channel. I'll greatly appreciate it. It will be a tremendous support. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in the video comments. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. All right. Once we remove all the screws, now all we need to do is to grab an opening tool, in this case a guitar pick, we're gonna start from the front end of the laptop. We're gonna stick it between the bottom and top cover. We're gonna just twist it, and you wanna hear a click. Those are the clips that are getting loose, so you wanna do all around in the front end. Work yourself around to the front, to the sides, all the way to the back corner. Just doing a half twist to the left and right side. All right, once you did that, now all you need to do is grab it from the front, bring it up and wiggle it around a little bit and it will release itself from the back end. All right. Now we are down here, we're gonna see the battery, big battery right in front of you. The model for this battery is pretty long model. I'll leave the number in my video description. It's an HP 4692J5ECW-31. All right, to remove the battery, there's three screws, one, two, three. First, we're gonna remove the three screws with a Phillips number zero. Because first, once you remove the screws, it's easier for you to remove the cable. All right, once we remove the screws, we're gonna lift up the battery. We're gonna bring it to one side, slide it out. Now we're going to put our finger underneath of jack and we're going to pull it up towards the ceiling hard. And we're going to release the jack. You don't want to pull it back or you don't want to push it away. You just want to pull it upward towards the ceiling. And that's your battery. Once you get the new battery, pretty much, what you want to do, you want to slide down the bottom end so this hinges goes right underneath. And you want to bring it over. And for to connect the battery, leave it on. First put the screws on so you don't... If you slide the screwdriver, you don't want to touch the motherboard with it. Put the screws for the battery. And the last thing would be to just align the jack straight over and then push it down, make sure you hit tiny clicks. And that's how you place it in there. Once you have the jack in there, all you need to do is to grab the bottom cover, bring it over, Put it down and push it down. And push down, make sure you hit those clicks. Again, there's an important way of how you want to do an initial charge. And you should follow this step for any laptop. Now, once you insert the battery in there, you don't want to power on the laptop at all. You want to leave it in an off mode and you want to connect it to a charger and leave it charging for at least five to six hours. After five to six hours that it's being charged, now you want to disconnect the battery disconnect the charger 
and power on the laptop and use it until it drains the battery completely make sure you don't put anything um, overloading anything just normal use YouTube some movies just so it can drain it slowly down to 10% once it's drained completely you want to power off the laptop and leave it for charging for another five to six hours and after that you can just use it as you wish so that's important you do a first full discharge and charging in an off mode okay again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any question or request feel free to leave it in a video comment as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video